I'm just asking if you had a knife. You don't have any business with me. You don't, you don't, you have, don't any. have any business with me. You don't have any business with me. You don't suspect me of a crime. We have the right to identify everybody in the vehicle. Who's your supervisor? My supervisor? Yeah, because it's not, it's not the way it is. Uh, I got to be committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or uh, in the act of a crime. Yeah. yeah, I do, but you're not getting it. No. I ain't committed no crime. Well, you are suspicious. No crime. That was, right. Suspicion is not a crime, man. Welcome back to CT3, where we highlight three clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights aren't violated on your next encounter with a cop. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the next episode. Also, the link to these awesome channels are in the description. So if you're looking for updates or just want to show them love, don't hesitate to check out their channels. Go ahead and gently smash that like button so this video will spread and help put an end to police misconduct and also helps educate the uneducated. Let's get right into it. What was that? Do you need any help from me or any assistance? Did I call you? No. But the reason, so why are you bugging me? The reason I'm stopping out here with you is because somebody called and said Because I'm on looked. private property? No, because somebody called and said you Was it management? Suspicious. So. Was it management? Um, I don't know. No, so it don't matter. I don't. I'm what sure crime do you management. suspect me of committing? I'm not sure if it was management. Do what crime any... do you suspect me of committing? Do you need any assistance from me? What crime do you suspect me of committing? I don't suspect you can be in there. Okay, then you have no business with me. I can still talk to you. You have no business with me. I can still talk to you. So so you ha you suspect me of no crime, right? I can still talk to you. Still you suspect me of no crime, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> have a good day, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah, you can help. What crime do you suspect me of committing? What crime do you suspect me of committing? But you just made YouTube history. You are stupid. You, you are so stupid. So you have no business with me. Move on. I'm just asking if you had a knife. You don't have any business with me. You don't, you don't, have, you any don't have any business with me. You, you don't have any business with me. You don't suspect me of a crime. You're law enforcement. Okay. Which means that you must have a crime in order to deal with me. This is not consensual. I don't want to talk to you. If you have any questions for me, direct them to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? If you have any questions for me, direct them to my I, lawyer. I can't direct them to your lawyer if I don't know your lawyer. Oh, imagine that. Don't you love how this works? This is America. That's okay. In America, a person is considered innocent in all of his actions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And in America, the police have no business harassing the public absent a crime. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is considered harassment absent a crime. So yeah, so. let's I, keep going with it. I got called about you. But I don't give a f you got called about. No, I didn't I call you. Day. You don't suspect me of a crime and you're law enforcement. They did. Who did? The person that called. They, and that was who? Not management, right? How do you know it's me? How did, because I know the punishment because I have business here. Okay. I'm well, I'm here every day. So if somebody called on me, it was not management. Okay. So again, what are you doing on this private property harassing people for no crime? I'm allowed to come on here and check. You're allowed to come on and check when you suspect crimes. You are not allowed to harass the public and violate their Fourth Amendment right to be free from unnecessary, undue harassment, illegal searches, seizures, etc. Yep, you sure can. I'm going to walk over and make sure I get your ID on uh, your vehicle. You have not. You have nothing to fear from me. I would never cause you guys harm. Just so you know, you have nothing to fear from me. But I am going to walk over here yeah, and ID your horse. vehicle and, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, do it. You can grab my fist. You want my name, badge number? Yes, sir. It's Officer Clark, number 47. Number 47. Good job. Good job. Appreciate you. Yeah. Lehigh is generally pretty good about that. Thank you. It'd be better if we'd get rid of all your blue line bullshit, gang member shit. I don't have any blue line bullshit. That's good. I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking because we don't believe in that gang shit. You have anything illegal in your car? Do you have any drugs or weapons that are unregistered? Uh, I hope not. Can I can I check? No. Nope. 
Can I get you to sit on the curb over here? No. No? No? Can I get you to keep your hands away from your gun, please? This get your hands out of your pocket for my safety. Awesome. For my safety, I'd like you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Is the that plate on there yours? I'm not answering. I already told you any questions you have for me, you need okay. to direct to my attorney. If you're in any questions you have for me, you need to direct to my attorney. Okay. Well, if you don't need anything else, I'm going to take off. Um, I appreciate that, Clark. I appreciate that. You have lots better things to do besides harassing the public for sitting in a private parking lot doing nothing but being a free American. You have a job to do, and it is not to investigate suspicious. What is suspicious? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? <laughs> right? That's so stupid. That's an oxy. That's a bullshit. Oh, you're suspicious. What is suspicious about a car parked in a parking lot? That's not what... Oh, dipshit. They said they, they thought you were tweaking. Oh, tweaking. Are you going to give me a drug test? You want me to? Do you got one? I'll pee in a cup for you, just because I like you. I like your smile, bud. You're good. <laughs> they suspected me of tweaking for sitting in a parking lot, which I do every day at the same time. It's probably somebody new then. I know it was. It, it was not somebody who belongs to the hotel. Oh, wait, is this your girlfriend over here? Oh, man, I didn't realize you had your girlfriend in the car. What policy is that that says you can have your girlfriend in the car? Look at that shit. Caught him with his girlfriend. Now he wants to run. Bye bye. Bye bye. Standing tall 710 sure did stand tall against this physically fit officer that he made look weak. This clip is the example of an individual knowing their rights and confidently exercising them. The rationale behind such demands for identification can be attributed to several factors. One possibility is that the officer wanted to control and assert authority over the individual. By demanding personal information, officers can create a power imbalance that intimidates citizens and discourages them from challenging police actions. This is a coercive practice that undermines the principles of justice. Most likely, this officer's behavior might stem from a culture within law enforcement that prioritizes gathering information over respecting citizens' rights. If officers are routinely trained to collect personal details from everyone they encounter, it indicates a fundamental misunderstanding of constitutional protections. This approach not only infringes on individual liberties, but also diverts resources and attention from more pressing law enforcement duties. Let's continue. Is this window go down? Just Sorry, my window don't go down. <laughs> oh, I can't open. I can't. This window don't go down. Uh, I'm the supervisor. You don't care what he wanted. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's trying to get me the ID without. Uh, open uh, your door. Can't hear you. You have to open it. He's trying to get me the ID without uh, me committing a crime or an act of a crime or about to commit a crime. Uh, uh -huh. right, and that's the only reason why. That's the only way I know I, that uh, I know of the law that uh, I'd have to ID. I don't, otherwise, I don't have anything to do with this traffic stop. It's between him and the driver. Well, I understand that, but we have the right to identify everybody in the vehicle. Who's your supervisor? My supervisor? Yeah, because that's not that's not the way it is. Uh, I got to be committing a crime, and about to commit a crime, or uh, an act of a crime to, okay. to be ID'd. Here's the deal. I mean, I don't have any warrants on me or nothing like that. I'm just standing up for my rights. And I'm not trying to be difficult. No, no, listen, here's the deal. We have the right to identify everybody in the vehicle that's false that's and false if you don't if you don't provide id you're also allowed to lie to me too then i can if you don't provide me id then i can get you out of the car and detain you until we figure out who you are that'd be illegal detainment no it's not oh yes it will be i, I promise you it will be uh, uh, can you get your supervisor here? step out i don't have i don't have any weapons on me i don't consent to any searches or seizures so all right well as right now, you're just being detained until. Oh, buddy, I'm allowed to record. Turn around, you're being detained. No, I'm allowed to record. You're being detained. I'm allowed to record. You're being detained. You're violating my First Amendment right, too. Alright, step right over here. 
The actions displayed in this clip by the supervisor are tyrannical, especially cuffing someone while on camera simply because he believed that he could identify anyone in the vehicle. Jimmy said all the right things to put this supervisor on notice, which should have stopped him in his tracks. Unfortunately, the cop is uneducated on the law he was sworn to uphold. This clip proves that it's a broader issue of police overreach in this country. We see it far too often. Officers demanding identification without any reasonable suspicion or probable cause, they are essentially engaging in harassment. This kind of behavior can intimidate citizens, discouraging them from exercising their rights. Don't let it because situations like this are always brought to the light and it can be used to educate the uneducated, including this sergeant. Let's continue. How you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Morning. All right. It's hot. Coming here to cool off a little bit and do a little filming. Awesome. Doing good today? How you, yep. how you pronounce your name, sir? Stanton. Stanton, okay. I, I, I'm bad with names, man. What's your name? Uh, Good citizen. Good citizen? Yeah, you can just call him a good citizen. I appreciate it. like that. Yeah. I mean, I, what, are you, what are you guys doing? Just whatever we can see in the public areas. That's all. Yeah, we're not here to harm nobody here. Well, I didn't think got no, got no just, EOLs. It's just no no EOLs. No meat has ever done this before. Well, I'm you yeah. Yep. That's what we do, man. We go around in different uh, counties and, and film government officials, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people from out of state don't know what it looks like in down here in the country with a police station, nice police station. Sure. You know, I mean, they, they, California, New York and all them, you know, so a lot of people interested in, uh, in such stuff. Cool. Yeah. You guys got an ID? Yeah, I do, but you're not getting it. No? Why not? I ain't committed no crime. Well, you are acting suspicious. No crime. That you are acting suspicious. Suspicion is not a crime, man. Well, it, it warrants me to ask you who you are. Right. I'm a good citizen, man. That's all you get. We didn't, we ain't broke no laws or nothing. We're not here to harm nobody. You haven't. Okay. But we don't know who what, you what, are. What, what, it doesn't mean just because you're a nice person. That, Other people that aren't nice can be coming in and doing the same thing. That's why we're here asking. Well, I mean. What is the statute that, there that requires us to give an ID? What's that? What is the statute that requires us to give an ID? Well, if you're acting suspicious, I, I have suspicious. I more suspicious. I'm allowed to do. Yeah, there be a statute. I'm sure there's a statute. I don't even discuss that. Well, this, this cannot be deemed suspicious. Be, just taking pictures is not suspicious. Well, to you, you it happen, might be. If but it happens every day, it wouldn't be suspicious. But this be the first person I, ever. It, it, it probably won't be the last time, though. You know what I mean? I'm sure, and I hope. Whoever else comes in here to film your nice building, don't get harassed. You know what I mean? That, I mean, that's all. Are we harassing you? You asked for ID and had no, had no warrant and reason why. Well, I do have a reason why to ask you. But that's fine, but I, I, I declined. How about that? Yeah, well, when you're acting suspicious, I don't you, you. You can't deem this suspicious, man. It's I mean, this is, this, is, this is a legal protected activity against the Constitution of the United States. Did you did you it's swear an oath? It's different than the ordinary. Did you did you swear an oath though, right? It's different than the ordinary and that makes it suspicious. Okay, well suspicious suspicious to you ain't suspicious to me, so yeah, you get what I'm saying? I don't think I'm acting suspicious. How, uh, how long do you guys think you'll be here? We probably done. You know, we oh, was fixing we were just making our rounds, we just headed back out the door. Awesome. You know? I mean, we're not here to harm nobody. Is there anything else you'd like to ask questions about in the lobby or anything else? We just go around just taking pictures of stuff. I mean, we went here and it's nice stuff in there. I know. I'm asking Very you nice. I know a lot about this stuff. Yeah. I, I was on the fire department way back when, probably. Where? Yeah. Where I live. We were just that? <laughs> Down the road. Which road? You, 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 you fishing now, right? I'm just asking yeah, questions. Yeah. It was on the fire department. Does it matter where? Well, really, it don't. Much. It don't matter. See, I mean, I, see, I can tell right now that you'll go out here and ID any blow Joe off the side of the street, and you got no reason to do that. You, you that kind of person, ain't you? Oh, yes. The answer is yes. I'm a professional police. Officer. Professional police officer don't warrant asking ID for somebody that ain't doing nothing wrong. It's not breaking any laws. Have I? No, because you know you can't. Okay? The only way you can get my ID is you lock me up right now. 
I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it, buddy. I mean, you're trying to go me to do it. I'm not trying to. No, sir. You wanted my ID. I'm telling you, you're not getting it. And now you want to know where I where I went on the fire department. Come on, man. You relax. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm cool, calm, collective. Yeah, I know you keep doing that, but we don't need it. We didn't come in here to get interviews. So we came in here to be left alone. Is what we came in here for? Yeah, you good with that? Absolutely. We're gonna be on our merry way then. How about that? That sounds good. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm having a great day already. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. It's deeply concerning that law enforcement officers who are sworn to uphold the Constitution would engage in practices that try to intimidate and harass citizens exercising their legal rights. This kind of behavior raises questions about the training and intentions of police officers. One must ask whether the officer's actions are deliberate tactics to gather personal information without cause. If officers are trained to extract names and birth dates from individuals regardless of the situation, it points to a systemic issue within policing across the nation. This practice is either intentional or due to inadequate training. However, it's problematic as it violates individuals' Fourth Amendment rights. Luckily, NC Tyrant Hunter is well informed about his constitutional rights. His knowledge is crucial because it empowers citizens to stand up against unlawful demands and ensures that their rights are protected and respected. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And without you, there's no CT3. Remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And until next time, peace.